We've evaluated our parentheses and exponents. The next part we need to focus on is multiplication and division. In order of operations, multiplication does not come before division. Instead, we work through them left to right. This is because division is really multiplication of the reciprocal. We're going to revisit dividing with fractions in a moment to see how that works. But let's start with simply thinking about dividing. 6 divided by 2. That means I have 6 items and I need to put them into 2 groups. Well, when I do, that gives me 3 items in each group. So 6 divided by 2 gives me 3. Well, let's think about that in terms of fractions for a moment. Every whole number can be turned into a fraction by giving it a denominator of 1. So that means I can rewrite this problem as 6 over 1 divided by 2 over 1. When we work with fractions, we don't really divide. We multiply by the reciprocal. So that means our dividend of 6 stays the same. Division becomes multiplication, and we take the reciprocal of our divisor. For So 2 over 1 would be 1 half. So that means I need to put half my items into each group. Well, if I have six items and I put half of them into each group, that means I have three items in each group. That's the same result I got over here. Same thing if we multiply them out. Six times one is six. One times two is two. Six over two then simplifies to three. So dividing gives us the same result as multiplying by the reciprocal. If order is so important in order of operations, let's take this same problem and work it out three different ways. First, we're going to take our PEMDAS literally and multiply before we divide. So if we multiply first, we would solve 5 times 4. 5 times 4 gives us 20, so that means we would then have 10 divided by 20. 10 divided by 20 comes out to be 1 half. Okay, now we're going to work from left to right with our order of operations. So 10 divided by 5 gives me 2, so that leaves me... 2 times 4. 2 times 4 gives me 8. Well, 1 half and 8 are two very different values. So let's test it out once more by changing everything to fractions and try multiplying by the reciprocal. When I change it all to fractions, that gives me 10 over 1 divided by 5 over 1 times 4 over 1. We said dividing is really multiplying by the reciprocal. So that means this first part, 10 over 1 would stay the same, division would become multiplication, the reciprocal of 5 over 1 would be one-fifth, and then we'd still have 4 over 1. Multiply straight through on my denominators. 10 times 1 is 10. 10 times 4 is 40. Multiply straight through on my denominators. 1 times 5 is 5. 5 times 1 is 5. So I have 40 over 5. Simplify 40 over 5, and that gives me 8. Well, that means working from left to right gives me the same result of changing everything to multiplying by the reciprocal, which are both very different from actual multiplication before division. So this is why when we have multiplying and dividing, we need to work from left to right. Keeping that in mind, let's go back to our original problem and work our multiplication and division from left to right. Well, that means the first thing we come upon is 8 divided by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2, and from there we can bring down the rest of our problem. So now we have 12 minus 2 plus 25 times 3. Now we can work our multiplication part of 25 times 3. 25 times 3 is 75. So at this point, our problem is down to 12 minus 2 plus 75. In our last video, we'll look at the part on adding and subtracting. If you're curious to see the entire thing worked out, skip to the video in this playlist called Work It Out to see the entire thing.